Hey guys, I'm holding the beautiful new Sony Xperia Z3 and we did some benchmarking tests here and we're going to show you those results. Uh, first of all, we generally show you the HTML5 uh, test first of the browser, but the default browser on the Z3 is Chrome and we've seen um, the HTML5 performance of that many times. So I'm not going to show you that. I'm not going to bore you by showing the same old information. We'll straight away go to Antutu and uh, it almost scores right at the top. This guy is one of the most powerful mobile phone that you'll get in the market today. And the uh, benchmarks proves that. You see, uh, this guy scores 40,774, which is right after Note 3 and S5. I don't know what is MI3W, but MI3 that we know is after this. And also M8T, I don't know what the T version is, but all M8, um, I'm not sure if it's below or above, but T definitely is a different version than what we see here. Then we also uh, did some Velamo testing and there you see Chrome browser, it scores right up the top. top. Chrome is an excellent browser, no doubt about that. Uh, your multi-core score and again it scores right among the top 5 where you have M8 scoring the most one plus one surprising entry and then G3 of course expected but this guy's above Nexus 5 and S5. Then we did some metal test and right on the top again a very surprisingly top slot, uh, slot goes to one plus one. We did Ice Storm Unlimited you know, and its cost is 17193 and when you compare it to that you see 17193 would be just a below out here somewhere and <laughs> it did not let us do ice storm extreme and storm because it says this test is too light for your device that's amazing sony xperia z3 scores more than the maximum in both of these so we did not need to do this we only did the unlimited and you saw the results so then guys it's proved that the Sony Xperia Z3 is definitely one of the most powerful devices in the market. Now, um, this number three or number four or number one, when the difference is this less, um, these devices, all devices are individually at different level of, you can say performance level or performance um, in a condition when we do this benchmark. So under control, um, benchmarking they might score slightly more I personally do them after um, you know using them um, personally for some time so that we get a proper real-world um, representative all this sample so they might score slightly lower than one you would uh, see in the control environment but that's what you want right the real world results so that's how it is still the Z3 is right at the top in terms of power and performance thank you